Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got something a little bit different for you guys. I'm going to be doing a Tackle Warehouse unboxing and a Q&A. I posted on my Instagram story um, earlier and was like, hey guys, ask some questions that you may have for me or whatever about anything haunting related or something like that. So anyway guys, hopefully you enjoy. Um, let's get into it. But by the way, I just got out of the shower, so my hair looks kind of weird. But anyway, right here, Tackle Warehouse, you know, had to order some, you know, we're on this quarantine thing or whatever, so social distance, whatever you're going to call it. Um, but yeah, stay safe, guys. Hope you're doing good. Let's crack this bad boy open. Um, my trusty Kershaw. Let's see. Hopefully you guys can see that. Rip this bad boy open. Rip. Oh wait. Probably need to cut that little side. Rip her open. Okay guys. First thing you can see when you open this box. Got some paper. Classic stuffing. And then under that you can see there's some baits but haunts that. Alright guys, so alright guys, so when you first open this package. Gotta take that trunk there over there. Okay, guys, so like, that paper tells you something. First bait right here. We've got the Jack All Ganterell Jr. Let's flip that around for you guys. Alright, guys, now you just saw me take this out of the package, but. That boy right there. I'm not sure if the camera's focused. But anyway, got this guy. These things run, I think, around 30 something bucks for this one bait. And I got the junior because I fish a lot of ponds and stuff like that. But I'll first look. I'm not sure how you guys can tell with the lighting right there. But it's it almost looks like a real bluegill, to be honest. Trouble hooks look legit. Everything looks pretty legit in my opinion. Packaging, like, good. So, anyway guys, first bait down. That's just a little swim bait. I think it's, yeah, it's five inch, five inch swim bait. So, that was the first bait. All right guys, now you look in this box. One boy left. All right guys, that's the second swim bait. I'm trying to get a good angle. And I'm about to give you a little rundown on this bait real fast, so. All right, guys. So this this bait um, is actually called the BD series shad. I think it's a five inch slow sinking. So it looks pretty legit in my opinion. It's yeah, I like it. I think this one was on sale. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what the price was, but this bait I'm gonna go try these out one of these days here soon um but yeah this bait looks pretty legit as well hopefully you guys can see that oops hopefully you guys can see that in the camera I'm not too sure but right there is the two baits those are really cool i think i think the gantrell jr which is the bluegill that should work really good in ponds and for bed fishing and all that and this is more of like what I bought for the lake. Which right now, guys, my favorite big swim bait that I like to throw is the River 2C S waiver and the You Know It pattern. So, guys, check that swim bait out. I think I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen right here of a bass that I caught on that. And hopefully these work just as good, if not better, than that guy. So, anyway, guys, let's get into the Q&A and... There's a lot of questions waiting, so I'm gonna try and go quick with them and get through everybody or most of them. So enjoy. All right, guys. So now that I did the unboxing from the Tackle Warehouse baits, um, I'm about to crack into a and A. So one sec. All right. Let's pull up the old iPhone here and look at my Instagram, which, by the way, I'll probably drop in the description below if you guys want to go follow that or whatever but anyway 
Let's look at this. We'll start with the very first question that I have on here. So very first question that was asked was from my buddy Wes, actually. He goes to a school near me. He says, dream animal to kill with a bow. Um, my dream animal to kill with a bow probably would be a... Big bull elk, like huge. I'm not sure. Public land, DIY, big bull elk, or something in Africa. Like, I don't know, probably like a water buck, something like that. A warthog is also one on the list. But yeah, those are some of the things. So, Wes, there's your answer. Um, all right, guys, next question. My old buddy Case, he says, what is your favorite thing to sling arrows at? Well, it's got to be hogs, to be honest. Me and hogs, we don't have the best luck, but I've had some good times with shooting hogs. So, And those videos will actually be there on my channel. You guys can go check those out right now. But anyway, next question, Zach, my good buddy, um, he takes me hunting everywhere. That's where I shot my biggest buck, which I... I'll throw up on the screen right now. I killed this year. So anyway, Zach says, what is your preferred thing to hunt? Well, it's got to be an axis steer. Like, I'm crazy about them. So that's probably my preferred. I've never actually killed one with a bow. That's what I, that's what I have next on my list probably. But anyway, yeah, an axis is probably my preferred thing. I've only shot two, but... They're very cool, taste very good, and they're very pretty animals. So, next thing, my buddy Christian says, when we sling in some, whenever you want, dude, let me know. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Um, <laughs> next question, Avery, another buddy, says, why bow hunting over a gun? Well, this is a great question, actually. I, when I started hunting, which I was really young, I came probably, I probably went hunting when I was four or five, or maybe even younger with my dad, and I was always a rifle hunter, probably till I think sixth or seventh grade, I picked up, I went to a local bow shop, bought a Parker, and shot my first bow, or my first bow kill, which was a doe, and that just got me hooked, like, it's, so thrilling to be like 20 30 yards from an animal and them have no idea you're there so that's that answer and then he also says why fly fishing over regular fishing um i feel like the bow hunting and fly fishing go together they're both a challenge of the sport and that's why i like it flies you're tying your own like my buddies they'll tie flies for me and everything like that so it's just cool to catch fish on something that, you know, it's you or your buddy's tied. So that's a good reason for that one. Next question, my buddy Eric from Eric Coon from the coast. Actually, we need to go fishing soon, Eric. Let me know. But anyway, that's what his question involved, actually. When are you going to come down and slay some trout? That's going to have to be this summer, dude, because I know... My boy Eric knows the spots down there, and hopefully we're going to rip some limits. So, yes, Eric, that will happen for sure this summer. Um, my old friend Kylie says, want to hang out and teach me to, how to hunt, and we can go fishing. Sounds good. Let me know when. Um, Cammy, another friend, says, when are you going to teach me how to fish? Whenever. I mean... It's pretty easy, but I'll, I'll for sure teach you. Um, Slade says, favorite haunt so far? That's got to be the deer I killed this year with my bow. Probably, yeah, it's 100%. I hunted this deer for three years straight. Ever since I moved to my new school, I met my buddy Zach, and he's like, hey, dude, I have this deer that we named layout and ever since then i hunted him for three years never saw him and then one evening 
he came in like two minutes before I couldn't see anything. And I was like, I'm not going to rush a shot. So after football practice the next day, I went straight to um, to go hunt him. And he came in, gave me a shot, and it was over. Craziest thing ever happened to me. And, yeah, that's for sure my favorite haunt. So, um, yeah, that was crazy. Next question from Madeline. She says, funniest or best hunting story? Funniest? Probably... I don't know. Honestly, I've had some crazy ones. Probably it's got to be when I was with my buddy Zach. We were hog hunting the creek, which I think I have videos on the channel somewhere. Probably one of the recent videos, I think. But we were walking the creek, and he, none of this was on video because it was pouring rain. And, um, sorry, I can't even think of now. Anyway. We're walking down the creek, it's pouring rain, and we were gonna cross the creek in this one spot. It was like dry, and I was holding my bow in one hand. I think I had a range finder in the other, and Zach's like down, he had already gone down the, like in the creek bottom where it was like muddy, and he's like, dude, just go slow or you're gonna fall. And I started to go down, and I just went like, just flew back and like hit my bow on the ground, and. I was covered in mud, like, it was bad, but anyway, that was one of the worst and funniest haunts, but best hunting story, probably when I shot my good axes buck or when I shot my buck from this year, which I told that story, but anyway, next question is from Bryson. Um, she says, what is your favorite color? It's got to be like a lighter blue, probably. Gonna go with that one. Um, good question. Seamus, one of my buddies, he says... Yeah, Seamus, I'm not gonna answer that question. Um, Aiden, my, Aiden, my good buddy, says, what is one of your bucket list taunts? For sure, I gotta say, like a low fence axis buck that's just crazy, like a non typical or something like that. And then another one, probably being a caribou, which I didn't say this earlier, I wasn't really thinking, but a caribou's on my list. And I'm trying to think of something else. Probably a red stag in New Zealand, another big list hot for me um let me see my good buddy shane i used to go to school with says do you like sv or blanco better great question love them both i don't know that's that's probably 50 50 honestly um i think i've got a few questions left I'm trying to get through most of them but i'm just gonna do a few more i don't want to bore you guys too much so anyway brooke says how many spots were on your biggest axis? Ha 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 ha. Great question. I want to say probably like 469 or something like that. Or 1069. I don't know, something. I'll have to look back at my notes and I'll let you know. But great question. Yeah. Okay, and then probably the last one. Everybody knows another one. This person says, um, what camera gear do you use? So guys, I run a Sony A6500 with a 18 to 105 millimeter lens on that. And on top of that, I have a Rode mic. And I love that setup. It's brand new, I got it a few months ago. And it's pretty killer. This It shoots like crazy slow-mo and everything like that. So. That's my camera setup. And then my good buddy, Willie, says, what's your favorite bass lure and what's your favorite rod and reel? So my favorite bass lure is probably Guggenbaid's Bandito Bug or one of the jigs I tie with a crack and crawl trailer, for sure. Those two are killer, like always. And then favorite rod and reel, it's got to be a 
Falcon Buku rod and like a 7.2 or something medium heavy and real probably the Corrado K Shimano Corrado K love that thing all the Corrados older Corrados are even really good but yeah Willie great questions and uh yeah guys so there's a there's a few more but I don't want to bore you guys too much I think I think it's a pretty good amount of questions and here's one last look at these baits right here um, right there so Jackal Gantrell Jr um yeah that bait just looks so killer and then the BD Boy Ducket series, five inch slow sinking shad. Both killer baits. Can't wait to try them out. Hope you guys go to the Tackle Warehouse, check them out, order some baits off of there. And uh, yeah, especially during all this quarantine stuff like that, um, where you're supposed to be staying inside. You know, you're supposed to not go anywhere. So you can't really go to Bass Pro or Cabela's or local bait shop, wherever you get your baits. But Check out Tackle Warehouse that right there. And yeah, that's where I get most of my stuff. So anyway, guys, if you stayed till the end, thank you so much for watching. I had a good time filming this for you guys. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do more unboxings and maybe a few more Q and A's or something of that. Just drop ideas and subscribe if you're new. So. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're having a good time during this corona. Staying safe and we'll see you next time.